It's beer o'clock on Reload Craft Beer. Today we've got a beer from Isaac Ponds Brewers and Barley Merchants and it's a bottle of their India Pale Ale coming in at 4.5% ABV. 500ml bottle, black bottle cap. Let's get the beer out into a glass and see what we get. Nice bit of smoke on the bottle opening. Beer in the glass then. Lovely glug on the pour. We've got a one to two finger white head. Good levels of carbonation. It's quite a light, almost straw coloured beer. It is, in the camera, it's probably suggesting that it's heading towards being a very amber coloured beer. But with my eye looking at the beer before it hits the camera and bounces back and whatever, I'm seeing more of a pale Coloured beer. Let's get the, it's quite clear as well to look at. Let's get the aroma. I think more of a traditional British IPA rather than an American IPA. I, I'm saying this because it's 4.5% ABV and also it's, it's not overly hoppy in the aroma. But again, as they're barley merchants, they probably put the freshest barley in this beer. You can get that from the nose. It's a very fresh, biscuity, toffee aroma. It's really bursting. Their malts are really bursting out of the glass. Get a sense of the sweetness. Let's dive in. Cheers. It's a very good example of a British IPA. I've just drank their Best Bitter. This is like a stage up from their Best Bitter, albeit they've used slightly paler malts. I'll show you their Best Bitter here. Slightly paler malts, you can see. You get a taste for that in the beer. Uh, there's good carbonation. Uh, it, it, yeah, it, it's very much, it, it's, it's still very biscuity and bready, but because I've just reviewed that best bitter 15 minutes ago, really, I, I can really gauge the difference in the beer. And it's a step up, really. And there's more bitterness. There's definitely more bitterness in this beer, which is impressive. But it's a very traditional British IPA rather than an American one. So what I'm getting is a prickly, nettly... Oh, almost like a more organic hop flavour on the back end. It's like stinging nettles rather than your grapefruits, your mangoes, your citrus from the American hops. But then there's, there's good bitterness on the back end. And it's a nice balance to it as well. Sweetness to begin with, biscuity, bready, nuttiness to the, the malt, really fresh malt used in the beer. You can definitely get that, as again, as they're a, a barley merchant. They're only going to use the freshest malt in their beer. Why would they not do that if they've got that at their disposal? Number 84, IPA. It's well balanced. Sweetness, bitterness on the back end. There's a lot going on in the middle. Uh, nettily hoppy flavours, bitterness on the back end, and then to, at the front of the flavour, you've got sweetness, and then it goes into biscuity, bready, nuttiness, a little bit of toffee, that toffee hammer toffee you might get. I don't think I've mentioned my channel sponsor. My channel sponsor for this video is beersreviewed.co.uk, the largest online beer store in the UK with a fantastic range of beer from all over the world. Beersreviewed.co.uk, just about to launch a brand new website as of October 2018. I'm really looking forward to seeing that. I think it might launch today, which is the 10th of October 2018. Uh, so mark that one in your diaries. There's a link in the description box of the video. Maybe take a look at Beers of Europe's brand new website. Um, 
let's rate this. Or well, before I rate it, let's see what they say. A pale and powerful beer with huge hop aroma overlaying our favourite Maris Otter malt. Bold flavours yet still retaining drinkability. History, passion, secrets. 4.5%. Yeah, they've been brewing since 1863, which is, which is quite remarkable. Quite a remarkable achievement. Being in York, a historical town in the UK, doesn't surprise me whatsoever that the brewery is that old. I would have, let me grab their best bit of the bottle. I, if I was in York, in the York area, and I walked into a pub and seen the two beers, the IPA and the Best Bitter, I'd have the 1863, I'd have two pints of the Best Bitter, because it's a really good Best Bitter, and then I'd move on, I'd have two pints of the IPA at 4.5% ABV. Um, this is a step up, as I mentioned earlier, a little step up in the, in the hop aroma. <laughs> Uh, the, the, the malts are definitely lighter, a little less toffee going on. And it's a bit more beefier at 4.5% ABV. Really well made, good quality beers, let's rate them. But before I give the rating, I want to make one more little comment. And that is, if you're expecting an American IPA, with all your grapefruit, your mangoes, your New World, Nipah, style, but this is not it, this is not it. So. Don't don't be disappointed if you'd expect if you bought this and you're expecting it. Maybe if you're watching the review, just take take on board what I've said. It's a traditional British IPA. Um, it's a lot less floral, a lot less kind of mangoey and grapefruity. But there's some nice balance in the beer. There's nice bitterness on the back end. Enjoy your beer. Let's rate it. I really like it. I really like this beer. It's a terrific beer. Good flavour, good mouthfeel, good balance. Easily tuck away three or four pints of this on a Saturday night. No problem whatsoever. I'm gonna rate it. I'm gonna give it I give the I give the best bitter a nine out of ten. I'm gonna give this an eight out of ten. It's an eight out of ten from Milo Craft Beer. Please put your comments in the comments box, subscribe to our daily beer reviews, give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom! And cheers.